breaking news as we come on the air on this Monday morning. We are getting new information into our newsroom about a 13 year old girl killed Sunday night in a triple shooting capping off a violent weekend here in Milwaukee. Yeah, an autopsy is now scheduled for today and our Elaine Rojas Castillo is joining us live from the scene, uh, actually from MPD District 2 now with what police are saying as you wake up. Elaine, good morning. That's right. Good morning to you both. Milwaukee police are investigating what led up to the shooting that left that 13 year old girl dead. Now this triple shooting and homicide happened near 5th and Rogers just before 10 o'clock last night. Police say that the 13 year old girl died at a local hospital. The other two victims, a 10 year old girl is at the hospital in serious but in stable condition. The second or the third victim rather an 18 year old man is being treated for non life threatening injuries. Police say that both the 10 year old and the 18 year old are expected to survive. Police right now are searching for an unknown suspect. And as Ryan and Susan mentioned, this comes after a spike in violence during Milwaukee's warmest weekend of the year, where police say that at least 20 people were shot. Now to give you a little bit of perspective, this homicide the medical examiner's office says that right now Milwaukee County has seen 71 homicides so far this year. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News. Yeah, Elaine, some troubling trends. Thank you. In Milwaukee, please say from 8 Sunday night through midnight, four other shootings happened on top of that triple shooting that Elaine just told us about. The youngest victim from those incidents is a 16 year old boy. He is expected to survive. As of right now, no arrests have been made in any of those overnight shootings.